hello there beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing this face hi you're welcome my name is josie and i'm a cameroonian based in the uk and to those of you who keep coming back thank you so much for always coming back i really do appreciate you and if you've been watching my videos and you've not yet subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing and do not forget to turn on the notification bell if you would like to be notified each time i upload a new video right guys today i'm about to show you guys how i prepare kati kati when you hear of kati kati it's a combination of roasted chicken in palm oil and um, vegetable soup and corn fufu or fufu corn if you prefer calling it that way so in this video today i'm not going to be showing you guys how i prepare my fufu corn and vegetable soup because I already have videos about that on this channel so if you've not yet watched those videos and you want to know how I prepare my fufu corn and vegetable soup please check out those videos on my channel after you've watched this one of course and uh, yeah the ingredients I'm going to be using today for this kati kati are not completely traditional some of them are just additional stuff that I add to my kati kati and at the end of the day I achieve a very great result which is what we are aiming at putting in all the ingredients that we have to achieve great results kati kati is one of the meals eaten in the northwest region of cameroon and i am from that part of cameroon so kati kati is basically my traditional meal so i'm really excited to show you guys how i achieve that right here in the uk all right guys let me go ahead and show you guys all my ingredients and we will get cooking on this tray i have my hard chicken this is the main ingredient for kati kati traditionally they use the free range chicken and here i have some palm oil if you want to make your kati kati the proper traditional way you just mix up your chicken with the palm oil and the only thing you add to it as seasoning is salt and maggi so since i'm not going to use firewood to roast this chicken i'm not going to mix up the chicken with the red oil now here i have some salt and maggi the quantity of salt and maggi that you add to your food is completely up to you depending on your taste buds and here i have some chopped onions this is completely optional it is not in any way traditional and chopped tomatoes as well i just like to add it to my kati kati to form some sauce on this plate i have country onion this is a very important ingredient when it comes to kati kati it is an ethnic spice and it gives a very delicious aroma to your kati kati if you've been preparing kati kati without country onion consider adding these spices to your kati kati and you will absolutely love the end result all right guys these are all the ingredients i'm going to be using today for my kati kati over here i have some chopped kale and some chopped spinach i mix the two because kale is quite hard so the spinach kind of softens the vegetable for me i have a video on that on this channel so you might want to check that out if you want to know how i prepare the vegetable so i'm just going to put the chicken in the oven and I'm going to set my oven to 220 degrees and I'll put it at one hour and I'll keep checking from time to time to see if it has burnt to the level that I want because we're trying to achieve that burnt look. Yeah, so let's start the oven now and we'll check later to see if it is really burning the way we want it to be all right people this is the look that we wanted the chicken has been in the oven for one hour now and as you can see some of it is looking burnt this is the look we want for our kati kati so let's move over to the next step my pot is already warm so i'm adding 
of palm oil to it you have to be careful not to bleach your palm oil you have to just let the oil warm up not bleached now the oil is warm so i'll just go ahead and add my chopped onions i let it fry for about two minutes next thing we add our chopped tomatoes i'll go ahead and cover this and let it cook until the water from the tomatoes is completely dry right guys as you can see all the water in the tomatoes is dry now this is the consistency i wanted for my sauce that's why i chopped the tomatoes instead of blending it now the next thing i'm going to do is add my maggi cubes the quantity of salt and maggi that you add to your sauce depends on the quantity of your chicken and also the quantity of salt and maggi that you added to the chicken before roasting or grilling it and also it depends on your taste buds right i've added two cubes now to the sauce and i'll just add a pinch of salt we're trying to take it easy on salt and maggi nowadays even though it's not easy it's not easy cooking african food without salt and maggi but we're trying to take it one step at a time by limiting the quantity to when we get to the point where we don't need to add that to our food anymore right the next thing we're adding is our aromatic country onion guys voila this is what gives a different kind of aroma to your kati kati voila now that our sauce is ready i'll just go ahead and add the roasted chicken to it The next thing is just to stir all of this and let the sauce touch all the chicken. We're done mixing this up so we'll just cover it now and let everything marinate for about 5 minutes or so and that will be it for our kati kati. All right, people, our delicious, aromatic kati kati is ready. If you enjoyed watching the recipe, please give it a like and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Until next time, you all stay blessed. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.